Hi, hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss about exhaust map operator and how you can use that in our application. So let's start the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the frameworks and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. So what is exhaust map? And as the name says, it will exhaust all other requests till the first request is finished. That means if you make a call to a server or, or any type of call till that call is finished, if you are trying to making the call again, it will exhaust means it will not allow that call. It will just simply dismiss that call. And it's pretty useful in certain scenario. I will show you one of them and we, we will discuss some of them in later in the video. So the code you are seeing here is just a simple Angular project. I have created a project and I have added some code like I will show you the page first. So if you go to the browser, so this is uh, the page I've created, very simple page. What we are doing is we are calling an API, free get call API and from that we are getting the data of some user. So I will just show you the API as well. If you go to the code, so this is the user data what we are getting and on select you can select a particular user and if you click the get user then you are making another call to fetch the user details so we'll go to the code now so on load of the application we are making a get call and we are piping that get call with our map operator to get the only id and name from extract from that API. If you go here, if you see API, we are getting all the data just for the sake of the video. I'm just getting ID and name and that we are assigning to our observable here as a user dollar. And in the HTML, we are iterating through that through a async pipe. And on click of that, we are calling select user. And now we'll see what is the use of our exhaust map. So first we'll see what's the problem here, okay? So if you'll go here, if I just open the console. So if you see here, if I'm clicking on say, a user and I'm just trying to hit get user multiple time, you can see here, we are getting the user, means we are calling the call and we are getting the data on each and every call. We are getting the call pretty faster. So what I will do is I will go to our get data and in get data we are passing the ID. I forgot to tell you that in the get data we are passing the user slash user ID and we are getting that one. Okay. So I will add another operator here. Uh, I can add a delay of one second and if we'll go to the browser now, if you are hitting the button multiple time till we haven't got the response back, we're still going to call our API. Suppose your API is little bigger or there is some uh, problem in the server, you are not getting the response back and a user is frustrated and they are hitting get user means and your button and you're going to make multiple call. To make it a little more understandable, I will increase the delay to two, three second, okay? And it will, if you'll go to the browser, what I will do is I will continuously keep on pressing the get user button, but we'll see that we'll get lot of calls after, after I re release the button as well. So if I'll just keep on pressing, so if you see our log is keep on happening, but after three seconds, we'll get the response. Again, my bad, <laughs> I haven't selected any user and I, I haven't handled the error as well. I will go and hit the get user button for multiple times like if you see it for 15 time and we're going to make 15 same call to the api and we will see how exhaust map will help us in this scenario so for that we'll go to our code here what we'll do is we'll create a subject and we'll use this subject in our button I'll save, we'll go to the HTML and on click on get data, we'll not call the get data. What we'll do is we'll do our button dot next. So what it will do, it will emit 
a next call to the subject and we'll subscribe to the subject in our on in it or after viewing it if you are grabbing any of your button through from event or something else you should go after viewing it because once it get created then we'll get that context but here we can use this in our on in it as well so this dot between sub and we'll pipe our exhaust map to our button subscription means, means our button subject so we'll write i will write the pipe and we'll write exhaust map and in that we'll call our get data uh, get data method but the get data method should return an observable and in this case we are what we are doing is we are in the get data we are subscribing and console logging the values so what i'll do i'll just return this one i'll just put this subscription so once our pipe is finished I, we can put this one and I'll save. So what we're doing here, in our button subject, we are piping our exhaust map and calling our get data method. And inside our get data method, we are calling to the API and we are getting the data from that. So if I go here, if you, you can see, we are calling our API and again, we are mapping the data to get the data and we have a delay of three seconds to just to visualize. So if I go to the, code here whenever that will be click on this button it will going to emit a next event and that next event will be catched by here and we have already have exhaust map here so we'll see and if i go to the browser keep an eye on our console i will just go ahead and click our get user as many times as i can till three seconds and you will see there will be only one get call happen to the server Okay, so if I see, we are not getting any console as well. And now after three seconds, we get a, another response. Okay, my bad again. I have forgot to select the user. And now I'm clicking the clicking the user. If you can see, I'm clicking the mouse multiple time. If you see here, then also it is just making a single call, not making multiple calls. That means till you get the response, the user will not be allowed to make a call. That's what happened inside the exhaust map. And as I told, there are some scenarios which exhaust map is pretty helpful. So one of them is if you ever use NGRX and in that, if, I, if you ever use effects, in that what we do is on an act trigger of an action, you are going to make a call to the server and from that server, you get the response. And after you got the response, you will emit another action. Okay, in, in that, what will happen is, you, for the effect point of view, effect don't know from where the action is getting triggered. Okay, so that component is handling or not, I means handling the uh, disabled scenario I just told, that component is handling or not. In those case, it's always better write a foolproof code so that for that component point of view means for that effect point of view it will not cause any problem so if in that scenario you will add an exhaust map that means if in between the call if someone is making another call then it will not allow that user means not allow that call to happen to the server and that is pretty useful and we will cover all this in our NGRX video series, which will going to come in the near future. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon for that so that you will not miss those videos. In our case, we call a HTTP call, but what you can track also, you can track the mouse movement or a click of users. In that case, suppose in every five seconds, you are, you are uh, tracking the mouse movement of the user in those case you can have a delay of five seconds and add an exhaust map to that so that you will it will not going to track all the mouse movement of that user and it will not going to crash your application so in those kind of scenario also a exhaust map is pretty helpful and pretty useful and if you like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and please share this video among your friends, family, colleagues and let them know how they can use exhaust map in their application. 
we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye